Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 13. Yes, we're continuing this. What isn't great about him? Bye, Felicia. Did Tanaka stand up for her? That is such a Tanaka thing to do. Aww. Oh, oh, he was always Tanaka. The irony of wearing a peace shirt. Ah, yes. <laughs> the innocent days where talking to girls wasn't terrifying. We both been on the volleyball journey ever since. Does anybody else have a story like this? Like, I see this in anime all the time, or in TV all the time, where, like, a moment in middle school or in, in childhood created a lifelong crush or bond. I'm racking my brain, and I feel like I have a lot of experiences, but I do not have a corollary for this this one. Maybe I didn't defend enough girls in childhood. Another regret to add to not playing sports. Maybe it's because I've been away from home for so long that I just don't meet anyone from my childhood anymore. I want to believe that someone, someone surely. <laughs> I did have a weird experience once where I, I was dating someone who confessed to me later that she had known me or known of me for a long time before he, I knew her. She just said, hey. <laughs> but it's like I always said, Tanaka never misses, except for all, all those misses, but that doesn't count, doesn't count. It was all just build up to this. Welcome to life. I get it. I'm with Tanaka on this one. Surprise, surprise. The emotional drama of this episode, can Tanaka focus on volleyball? In light of this new revelation, in light of his recent birth, follow-up question, does does anyone even care about volleyball anymore? Imagine, Haikyuu just takes a break from volleyball to become a romance anime for a few episodes. Episode 13, The Second Day. Tanaka's all smiles. <laughs> Look at him. Let's keep it going. Okay. Okay. I was about to say, he's no Ushiwaka. Tsuki, we're looking at you. All eyes on Tsuki. If you can block Ushiwaka, you can block uh, whatever his name was. Oh, he looks like a character who has a lot of sense. Expecting Kageyama to- yeah, there it is. Was he the guy that was kind of taunting Kageyama? The one who led to his awakening as the king? That would be interesting. Sounds extra cool when you call it dual wielding. On to the next game. Isn't there any tape we could watch or something? Those are the breaks. There it is. We needed that. Oh,そっか. <laughs> <laughs> His face. They're having a great time. They're just happy to be here. I'm loving all these like Daichi moments. It's so great. He doesn't say much, but there's a lot going on. <laughs> That's me. I've been talking about this since episode like five, season one. He can feel it too, huh? <laughs> but in regards to the seniors, that was one of my biggest hooks for the show early on. I think the reason I don't think about that as much anymore is, to some extent, it's been sorted for me. I want them to win, it, it would be great. But as far as they've gotten, there's no way they look back on this season with any kind of regret. Like, they've sealed it, as far as I'm concerned, as having a, a effing amazing final year on the team. Win or lose, I don't think there's any heartbreak for the seniors from this point on. It really is all up from here. There's no doubt. So there's been a little bit of like a emotional sigh of relief on that front, as far as the senpai are concerned. I think beating Shir Torizawa was really the 
the punctuation mark on that. Now the stakes for me have shifted more to seeing how far Carson can go as a team, you know, how how meaningful their philosophy is and how they face the challenges coming forward. And on top of that, individual focus on Hinata, Kageyama, and a few others. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Focus, Tanaka, focus. Get some sleep. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Look at this distance. That moment where you're just focusing on what you should say, and that prevents you from thinking of something to say. Oh no, he's just doing his head. No one should have, they never should have told him that. Never should have given this man hope. What the hell? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's a rare miss for Tanaka. Don't jump to conclusions. That was just Tanaka vision. That was Tanaka vision. He was just the manager. Oh no, this is such a mess. Thank you, the romance anime. Starts off with a heartbreak. Wow, Tanaka fumbled, really fumbled at the one yard line. Oh, that was painful to watch. Painful to watch. I don't like it. How the hell am I supposed to enjoy the volleyball game now after that? <laughs> I can't I can't focus on volleyball, are you kidding me? Why did they have to do that to me? Oh, the fear was just too great. He had to sabotage it for himself, just to go back to a point where he could live. It's just so, so high school. So, so high school, so deliciously high school. I do understand, and it was proven, how learning that someone likes you could be a negative. Learning that you have a chance at something great. If it's a surprise, you start to wonder, when I just mess it up? And so then you mess it up before you can mess it up, if that makes sense. Deliberately mess it up so that you can't mess up by doing your best, which is sucks worse. Little coach rivalry. Kai a little intimidated maybe. Yeah, this feels like it's gonna be our first real big match of this tournament. Twin brother? Not sure how much that really says. <laughs> how many are there? Does that mean they're going to be extra in sync? It's a lot of free practice time, just living together. Yeah, Can we get some media coverage, please? Until we win. She's not wrong. If he doesn't destroy everything himself. It was like really there for, for a sustained period of time. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, there we go. He's related. That's a huge relief. Just tripped all over yourself, didn't you? Watching a game? That's already... Uh, that's practically dating. But still has to come back to volleyball. Still gotta be about volleyball somehow. As long as he's not distracted. Damn, not a still dwelling on this. Whoops. It's okay, it's part of his game at this point. I don't know how to feel about this guy yet. I don't think his comments are mean spirited at the camp, but I don't know. Something about his demeanor. Way to throw your team under the bus right before you play. <laughs> Not sure I feel about these uniforms, yeah. Like the other ones better. Look like the New York Knicks. What was he drawing in his hand? 
We got another one. We got another Oikawa. Stupid sexy. What's his name? Stupid sexy Mia Atsuma. He's the new one. He's gonna prove it to them. Yeah, exactly. It's interesting that they're focusing so much on Daichi. I mean, he's carrying a lot of weight on his own shoulders, trying not to show it. Of course, his good friends can read it. As a huge Daichi fanboy, it actually makes him more impressive to me. Because it's not that he's fearless. It's that despite great fear, he still puts on the leader face and is able to be a rock for the team. You can just tell how much they, they love him and they enjoy the chance to support him. But it does feel like this is building to something for Daichi. Wait, this is this is their cheer squad? Wow, that's organized. It's a bit much. Are they? <laughs> Are they really? This is extra annoying. Stupid, sexy Mia Osamu. He's back. What's an official warm up? Soul swap, man. Really ch channeling their anime attacks. How come his twin doesn't have a cheering section? Fangirls. Oh no, our attacks look so ordinary. <laughs> Are those fans handmade? Come to think of it, does, does this guy have merch? You're freaking out because your job has been taken by an announcer. Right. Don't forget. They're just a team. No, this team does feel different in terms of their approach than Shir Torizawa. Shir Torizawa was all like just one powerful anchor, fundamentals, hit it strong, hit it hard. These two feel more on, I mean, this team feels, feels a little bit more on Karasuno's page. The mix-ups. Whoa. Their banners, we don't need the memories. That's interesting. What does that mean? Oh, not again. This is Shades of Shiro Torizawa. Their fans are part of the game. They just brought the home court, home court advantage with them. Oh, that's not great. Oh, wow. That is not Oikawa like. Out, out, good. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief. Tension, a lot of tension. Just a weird energy all around for the start of this game. I wasn't, what? Oh, oh, we gotta beat them. I wanna see them shut their mouths. Use it. Oh no, I felt that coming, I felt that coming. Waiting for this to become a, a matchup between him and Kageyama. And that has just been waiting for this. Ever since he saw that kid jump. Oh no, he got out of himself. Yikes. He said that out loud too. Yikes. He just got a new ceiling to aim for. He got a higher target. There he is. Oh, you, don't, you have no idea. You don't know the half of it. Now has got to blast through these guys to get to Owl, Owl or Seagull or whatever, kid. This team is just a stepping stone. That being said, I can tell it's going to be a great match. Oh, interesting. That's probably the end of the, the first half, right? Oh no, we're going to the, the last stretch of IQ. That's, that's sad, at least for a while. So after a little bit of setup following the first game of the tournament, we finally get to some meat with Tanaka's love life, Tanaka's romance, which was ex excruciatingly painful, but still something I want to see. Tanaka, 
I'm, I'm rooting for him, man. And then, of course, there's this game in, in Karasuno. But all jokes aside, there's a lot of potential for this matchup. There's Kageyama and his history with this setter. The twins and their trickiness. The crowd, who I suddenly want to see silence so bad. It's a weird hybrid of things we've seen before. It's like the talent of Ushiwaka, though not quite. It's the uh, appeal or kind of personality of Oikawa in Mia and the crowd support. Then there's this new, newish thing, not exactly new, but seems like they're they're tricky. The setter opposite twin combo is a new element that makes me think this team's going to be extra versatile. So it'll be interesting to see what Karasuno takes away from this, what they learn, and how the things they've developed throughout the entire series will be relevant here. What is the growth? What is the philosophy that gets them through this one?